let's talk about what they call the three R's. The three R's, recover, recycle, and reclaim. To recover, what does it mean to recover? To recover means that when you go to a unit, you need to do some repairs to it, you take the refrigerant out and you put it into a cylinder. You put it into a recovery cylinder. Now you are recovering the refrigerant. To recycle, well, that is to clean the refrigerant immediately right there on site by oil separation and you run it through filters. Once you do all of this, you run it through filters and re they remove the acid, they remove the moisture that may be in it, they remove the oil, and then you use it again instantly to put in a machine. Now that's called recycle. You don't send it any place, you do that on site. And then there's reclaim. Reclaim is the process to, re to move the refrigerant or to get, to get the refrigerant to a level equal to what they call a virgin product, a virgin refrigerant, meaning that it has not been used before and it's coming from the supply house just like if it was brand new refrigerant. Now it has to be brought back to specs. In other words, it has to meet the standard set forth in ARI 700. It, they have to meet the standards ARI 700 before it can be resold. So what this means is that you're going to recover the refrigerant, you're going to take it to a supply house, there they're going to send it to a reclamation center. This reclamation center is going to clean it up, it's going to bring everything back to ARI 700 standards, and then they can go ahead and sell it. Now to recycle, like I said, it just means that you're going to clean it up on site. You are not bringing it back to ARI 700 standards, but you're cleaning it up enough so that you can use the refrigerant and that same unit again. Now, we said you're going to recover the refrigerant. When you recover it, you have to have a recovery machine. Now, refrigerant recovery machines or recycle equipment manufactured after November 15, 1993 must be certified and labeled by an EPA approved equipment testing organization. And the recovery device must meet EPA standards. So when you buy one of these machines, as you can see here on screen, this is just one of many brands that there are out there. I'm not trying to sell you any brand or anything, but this is just one that is used out there. If they're manufactured after November 15th, 1993, they must be certified and labeled by the EPA and is not actually the EPA, but it's going to be a testing center that says, yes, this recovery machine meets all of the requirements that the EPA has. And the recovery device must meet the standards. So this organization is going to do this, is going to test it. 